I'm Sasha. Today I'm going to unbox the Cure Weiss Detox Box from the Detox Market. The Detox Box featured Cure Weiss last year and they still had some boxes available. So for $45 I was able to get three products from them to try out today. So let's see what's inside. Cure Weiss is a brand that was started by a makeup artist from Denmark. I saw an interview with her and she said that people were having trouble with synthetic ingredients causing reactions in their faces and so she decided to make her own products. The Detox Box has a nice eco-friendly packaging. They've got a pretty printed box here and then they have this lovely little sticker over the paper wrapping. And then the products are packaged in this nice recyclable crinkle paper. So the card explains a little bit about Kristen Kier Weiss, who is the founder and makeup artist. One of the cards also talks about the different products and how much they cost and how to use them. For reference, this box contains three products from Kier Weiss. The retail value would be $121, but they sold this on their website for only $45. Oh wow, these are really nice. I'm super impressed by these boxes. The products themselves had a, a lot of weight to them. I think they're packaged in metal. And these boxes just are very hefty as well. They're kind of like this Safiano print. It's not leather, it's more like a plastic or nice coated paper. But as you can see, these are very nice, hefty feeling packages. So first we have a lip balm. This is part of her refillable makeup system. And inside it's this shiny metal package. This is a really cool box. It slides out. It's just like so satisfying to use it. It's a very nice metal box here. What's really cool is that you can pop this out and reuse it with like some of her other lip products or you could refill it with the same one. So she really designs this packaging to last and that's why if you buy the product for the first time it's a lot more expensive and then the refills are actually more affordable. So I'm just gonna dip my hand in this lip balm. Immediately it starts to melt, which is really nice. Just sort of rubbing it on my hand, it gives it a little bit of a sheen. It's kind of a soft, sort of oily finish. It has a really pleasant scent to it. It says it uses sweet almond and rose oil and it just smells so good. The formula itself is really nice. It's pretty lightweight. I feel like you could kind of build it up or you could just use it lightly throughout the day. The one downside to a container like this is that I think it's a little bit harder to apply on the go. You can get something like a retractable lip brush to use it or just use a clean finger, but it's not quite as handy as a tube because that you don't actually have to touch. This typically retails for about $50, so it basically pays for the whole box. I don't know if I would ever pay $50 for a lip balm, but this one is pretty cool and I feel like they do a lot of things to actually make it feel like it's worth the price. The refillable hefty packaging for one is really interesting and I love that I can refill this with lip colors later. If you're enjoying this video, I really appreciate it if you liked it or considered subscribing. I post new videos every Tuesday and Thursday at 10 a.m. Central and I'd love to see you there. If you click the notification bell, you can be notified first every time I post a new video. Moving on to the eyeshadow. This one also comes in a metal package and this eyeshadow is in the shade Charmed. It looks like a pressed powder eyeshadow in sort of a light taupe shade. It feels pretty creamy and it, yeah, it's definitely a powder shade. As you can see, it's coming out fairly light to start. When I use my finger, it kind of comes out in the nice sort of neutral brown shade. I feel like this is a very versatile color that you could use as the base for a lot of different makeup looks. This is definitely one of my most used types of shades. It would be a great transition shade, for example, for a lot of more colorful looks or even a neutral look. This one also has a really satisfying click when you shut it, and I love that it's a refillable compact as well. I don't know if I would pay $45 for a single eyeshadow, but I do like that she has such a focus on sustainability and that this does feel very heavyweight and durable. One thing to note is that she has both cream and powder shades available, and the refills are only $27 to $28, so if you did, you could create your own palette with them or buy one of her bigger palettes. You wouldn't have to buy this hefty little one just for one shade. I do think it will keep it protected though, and I love how it feels very durable in your bag. Last but not least, they actually included one of the refills. This is her eye pencil refill in the shade brown. First, I just wanted to show you this packaging. It's a really nice sort of durable paperboard, and so the entire thing is recyclable, which is really awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. It's got a little thing along the back, kind of like when you open a toothbrush. Even though this is a refill, I wanted to show you that it does come with its own plastic lid. I think the refill part means you can put on a metal lid that comes with the original version. I'm also guessing the main version probably comes in a fancier box. This one is a really beautiful sort of dark brown shade. It seems to come out very creamy and smooth. Like her other products, this also has very clean ingredients, which is probably part of the reason why they're priced a little higher than other products. 
Just to summarize, we have this lip balm which costs about $50 like this. You can also buy this refill alone for about $24 or get a lipstick for around $36. I really love this hefty, heavyweight packaging. It's so satisfying to hear that little snap as it closes. There's also this eyeshadow which costs $45 in this version with the nice snappy metal packaging. You can also buy this alone for around $27. And last we have the eyeshadow pencil refill for about $26. I feel like the quality of the ingredients is a big focus for Kira Weiss and it was really fun to be able to see some of them in person and see how hefty the packaging actually feels. I feel like if you bought them in the refill version, the price isn't too bad, but if you do buy that initial purchase with the metal packaging, there can be a bit of sticker shock. I was really excited to have a chance to try this with the detox box. I probably wouldn't pay $121 to buy all these things outright, but I'm really excited to have them and be able to play with them and incorporate them into my routine. So that's it for this video. I'd love to hear if you're familiar with Kira Weiss or if there's anything from them you'd like to try someday. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.